Hello everyone, in this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to write a program in 8086 SM language program in 8086 to display the string hello world on the screen. This program I have written already for the simplicity uh, and uh, uh, in this uh, program, you should keep in mind that uh, in 8086 program, SM language program, we write different types of assembler directives as well. And there are some optional assembler directives like title uh, this is the optional part this is the optional directive and uh, some other are compulsory assembler directive like dot uh, model that is tag these are the data dot code these are compulsory assembler directives uh, so uh, i'll teach this program line by line uh, this is the title of the program and then other uh, compulsory directive is dot model that model directive that model and there should be some model name after dot model directive and then uh, if i write here is small then it allocates uh, cs for course segment less than 64 kilobyte less than or equal to 64 kilobyte and uh, for data segment less than or equal to 64 kilobyte there can be different types of memory model definitions like use large uh, teeny etc and then uh, other directive a uh, compulsory assembler uh, directive is that is tag which i have written here uh, this stack that is tag directive is used to allocate uh, is used to denote how much uh, uh, memory to be allocated for stack segment here uh, if we leave it uh, only dot stack then it allocates 1024 bytes we can also write different types of uh, hexadecimal values like 100 s if i write 100 s that is like 100 s then it allocates 100 bytes mm, and if i write 200 s then it allocates 200 bytes uh, so these are compulsory assembly directive which we write in almost all program and then dot data directive uh, is used to start the initialize the data segment and uh, in this under the dot data segment all, we write uh, we assign uh, the string we assign the string which will be displaying uh, in the program on the screen uh, in in this 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 string i have written under the variable string string under the variable string and this can this is the variable here can be hello masses or masses i can write uh, this related variable name and then i have written here db this db denotes that uh, this string string is represented as data byte db uh, full form is data byte as you know that uh, string is the 86 treats string is the collection of characters and each character is represent, represented as um, byte thus we write here db directive and then uh, keep in mind that we always terminate the string by dollar sign so uh, under dot data directive we assign the assign the variable which will be displaying on the screen and then uh, other compulsory assembler directive is dot code under dot code directive i write the main part of the program which will be used to display uh, this string hello world on the screen and now under dot code directive there should be at least one procedure uh, uh, to write the program uh, here i have written uh, we initialize the procedure using proc directive and there should be the name of the procedure as well i have written here main procedure is one of my uh, procedure to write uh, to display to write a program to display uh, this string and then uh, if we initialize the procedure then we should end the procedure as well and to terminate the uh, terminate or end the procedure i should the, there is in p directive and then <clears throat> while terminating the procedure we should uh, write the the name of the procedure should be same as that we have used to write the program and main is the name which i have written so initialize so i'll write the same name so this is the main part and then uh, to write the program 
we use a dot startup directive after starting the procedure uh, this is the uh, directive which we will be using to initialize the data segment and uh, point the data variables on the data segment dot startup directive is an alternative to dot startup directive we can write these two line of codes move ax comma at the rate data move ds comma ax they work the same as that of dot startup directive uh, and then uh, dot startup directive h is initializes the data segment and put the variables and uh, to in the data segment or uh, to terminate the program we should write this dot exit directive now these are almost uh, uh, same part which we will be writing in every part of the program and uh, this is the actual unique code uh, which we will be writing to display string hello world on the screen so in this part and these two lines of codes are used to display the string on this string on the screen in 20 units is used for keyboard display interface and then uh, in 21 ads is intro function that always checks for um, intro instruction that always checks for uh, the value in as register as a function number and if there is uh, 0 9 ads in as then it displays then it is used to display the string on the screen and uh, to display the string on the screen it should always know the starting address of the string uh, where it is located in memory so um, this always checks for dx register uh, dx there should be offset address of the string string on dx register because these two lines of code uh, always check for the address in dx register to display the uh, string on the screen so this is the main part of the uh, unique code which is used to display this string and uh, these are the lines of codes and then always we should terminate this program using in directive so in this way we can write the program in 8086 to display the string hello world on the screen now i'll be uh, emulating this program here so it is correct and here is no error here are no errors so and uh, to debug we can write this in single step we can check this in single step mode as well so um, now i'll be running this program here now program has been terminated so yes here i have seen hello world screen hello world string on the screen in this way uh, we can write a program in 8086 and uh, emulate it run it and check the output using emulator 8086 and that's it for today